many things. 249. So we are going to do this 249 lab. 249, that is bash. Yeah, please start everyone. 249 lab. So start this lab, then we can continue. Uh, say, let us understand. Say, I have started the lab. Uh, create and work with an alias. So we will first learn about alias. And also work with the path command. Path, path, and add a new folder. See, this lab may not be sufficient actually. But I will also tell you some important things. Some important things about the basic shell scripting. Elias and all this thing it may not be Elias. Basic shell scripting. This is what which I wanted to echo dollar path. All these things I will be uh, specifying. Maybe a dollar date variables. Uh, all these things I will be specifying. So first, the let the lab starts. So the first part is only just to connect to the server. The second part is that create an Elias. Very simple lab. This one very simple lab. Create an Elias for backup operation. So let us go through once the lab is ready. So that is task two. That is task two. And task three is explore for path. When you press path, it will automatically show you whatever are the set like a bin, S bin or something like that, uh, which has been set, it will show. It will show. Okay. Uh, there is a shell script also. I'll explain about the shell script. So that's all. In these two, these two are the things which has been defined. So once the lab is ready, we can connect to this uh, server. Yeah, it is ready. Let us connect to the server. And then we can go with task number two. Download this PPK. This is the public IP. So I am ready with task one completion, task two. If you all of you are ready, we will go ahead with uh, doing this lab number 249. Just let me know once, lab, once you are all ready. You are ready everyone? Can some of you tell me or should I wait? Yeah, should I wait or should I continue? Second time I'm asking. Ready, sir. Ready, sir. Okay. So let us start this one. So create an alias for backup operation. So before I start this particular one, I'll just explain you the part of shell scripting. Shell scripting. So we learned about ENV. You can see this particular one. You just say ENV. It will show you the environment which has been set. This is the profile. I mean, uh, this is the environment which has been set, like host name, term equal to, shell equal to, bin bash, history size equal to 1000, that means 1000 names it will recognize as uh, what we call as, uh, uh, when you use up arrow, it will, re it will recognize, uh, remember basically in this history. So shell TTY is TTY as 0, colors is so and so, user is easy to hyper user. This is the environment which has been set. So present working directory is home EC2, language is uh, English, yeah, SSH connect is so and so, so and so like this. Suppose if I say echo, echo, dollar, bracket, sorry, dollar, okay, dollar, date, okay, so it will produce today's date. It will produce today's date. Or I will modify this one a little bit. Echo. Today's date is dollar bracket date. Okay. 
sorry. I should have given in quotes. This one should be in quotes. You see what has happened. It will print in a neat, in a sophisticated, whatever you have given. So dollar, and this has taken as a variable. Bracket, dollar bracket variable. So today's date and time, it has produced like that. So this is a brief outline for you, how you can uh, use uh, in a, like a shell script, uh, like a shell script. The script will execute automatically. And also, I want to tell you one more thing. So if you say a little hyphen A, hyphen A, A for dot files also. Please remember this one, hyphen A for dot files. You see three dot files are shown. Bash login, uh, sorry, bash logout, bash profile, bash RC. In my previous presentation, I was mentioning about this dot bash RC. This is where, where you can write your own script, where you can write your own script. If you say cat dot bash yeah. RC dot bash RC. Yeah, this is only a simple file where at the bottom, if he has given in the provision, user specific alias and function. If you edit this bash rc, okay, bash rc, this is a startup script where you can write any function over there, any function over there or a script, whatever it is. When you start, when you log in the system, it will immediately print. It will immediately execute that particular thing, execute that particular thing. This is how this dot bash rc is defined. So these are some of the functions which I wanted to showcase to you. Is this clear, everyone? Before we start this lab. Yes, sir. Okay, now let us do this lab. Now let us do this lab. Point number 24. If you say PWD, it will show that you are in home directory slash home EC2 user. So he asked to create an alias. Alias. So a function, you already learned about tar in our earlier class. Hyphen C E Z V F. Sometimes we may not remember entire command, very difficult sometimes. So what you can do, you can define alias function and put it in bash rc. So tar c, j, c, v, z, f means c for create, v for verbose, z for compression, that is zip compression, f for file display. We all learned about that. So what you can do, instead of writing tar c, v, z, f, you can give a command alias saying that backup. Right now, let us learn about how to do that. So, in future, whenever you want to run back a tar CV ZF, rather than that, you can write it as backup, backup, and the the uh, backup directory or so and so or file name or so and so. It will provide everything. Let us first create the alias. So, here I am creating the alias. Alias is a secondary name for a particular function. So, uh, I am defining that. I have defined. So now there is a, if you see ENV, ENV, uh, it's not shown, but it's okay, it's okay. Uh, in environmental variable, it's okay. So I have created a function called as a function, an alias called as backup. So in future, I need not go with tar, c, z, v, f, something like that. Rather than that, I can give as a backup. So let us try to do a backup of this company A folder. Backup of company A folder. So earlier we learned with tar, c, z, v, f. Now I can say backup, simple backup. What is the backup file which you want to create? Uh, you can say company A company a dot tar dot vz anything any any file name you can give of the target is company a. company a just specify that just specify that if you give slash or not also it is okay this is your source where your tar directory will be created and this is your the files which is the destination the files which you want to back up so once you do that what will happen a file name called as company a dot tar dot gz will be created. Yeah. So earlier the same function we did with tar. Now we did with backup. It's very easy. No need to remember the command. 
is this clear everyone yes, sir. okay like that so this is what which which you are seeing in the screen so this completes task a not sorry task 2 about how to create a command alias alias understood everyone command alias yes sir okay now let us understand about the path path see even if you say env also the path is specified you see somewhere path will be there here you can always ask for grep and say path. So env, we can say grep hyphen i, ignore case, i, I, I means, and you can tell path. It will show you the path variable, whatever it has been set. This is the entire path which has been set. Okay, fine. Let us go through with task number three. So go with company A bin. So this is point number 28. Go to that port, uh, particular folder, bin, bin folder. There is a script file here, which is called as hello.sh. You can see this file content, first of all. See this file content. So it is nothing bin bash. And echo, you have a small thing which is there. Please understand this one, hello.sh. Bin bash is the variable declaration. Echo, hello dollar user up to here hello dollar user dollar user is user is ec2 hyphen user so if you execute that what will happen it will provide as hello username like i have shown you dollar date hello today's date and time same thing here also here he has given everything so let us start executing how to execute a shell file this is in a file how to execute a shell file you can say sh sh hello dot sh this is the file name, hello.sh. It will provide immediately hello ec2 hyphen user. So this is the script. This is the script. So it has executed hello. Dollar user is nothing but ec2 hyphen user. Yeah. So this is the expected output. When you run this particular one, uh, you will get hello ec2 hyphen user. You can use dot slash, but most of the people use sh space file name. Don't go with uh, dot slash bin hello sh. That is a long procedure. But instead of that, most of the administrator they use sh space file name. This is much safer, which I have shown you. sh space file name. So uh, this is our shell script. This is our shell script hello sh. We have executed this one using sh uh, sh space hello sh. So you got this hello hyphen use. If you see this, this is the output. If you see this, uh, uh, I mean, uh, you should get like this, point number 31. Got it, everyone? Point yes. number 31. Yeah. So, uh, uh, without running sh, without running sh, if you say just hello.sh, it will say, it will not execute. Yeah, you see this hello.sh. It will say bad command or file name. Bad command not found. So that's what he has shown. Don't use that. Uh, yeah, you can ask for echo dollar path also. It will tell you. It will tell you the total path. I have already shown you using env also. The same path will be shown, which is red here. The same one. The same one. I'll show you here. Echo dollar this dollar path. all in caps, it will show the same thing here, show the same thing. <coughs> Did you all observe? Yes, sir. Okay. So that's what he means to say, this user bin exercise. Okay. So this is path equal to which we have defined, expected output also, you can define that. So that's all. If you say hello sh, hello ec2 user, which we have already uh, run that, run that. So you can define accordingly bin also. So it will run accordingly. Okay. Yes. 
Right. So, yeah, otherwise you can define the current path also. So, this is path equal to which the existing path plus something else has been executed. Right? Which has been done. Now, if you run this hello.sh, sorry, there is a file called as, sorry, there is a file called as hello.sh. It will execute now because the path is defined. You should see hello user. Earlier, the same thing, when I run this hello.sh, it didn't execute. Bad command, where is that? Yeah, here. When I tried to run here, it didn't, it didn't execute. It didn't execute. But when I set the path here, when I set the path here, I run this hello.sh, the same here at the dollar, it has executed. Understood the difference? Here. And yes. here, it didn't execute. Once once we set the path, it has executed. Yeah, anyone, any questions, please ask. So we have almost reached the end of this lab. So very small lab only, but still effective, very effective. You will understand here about this shell scripting basics. So we have used mostly echo only, but this is all good. Hmm? Yeah.